This will be a short guide to the Hollow Knight Split Maker, whose link is available in the description. This site has this logo, some text instructions, an input section, and an output section. The input section will contain a small configuration where you list your splits and some other information. We have pre-filled in a Luber percent, so now we can click Generate. Uh, in the output section, we have the source text for the live split file. If you want to make any changes, do so now. Maybe we want to rename one of the splits. And now we can click download. Uh -oh. My browser is configured, so it usually it'll pop up something. But I guess for now, my browser just decided to download it. And we have this aluba.lss. Usually you can just double click this and it'll open. So you see that all we had to specify was our four splits and some metadata. And then we got this nice functional uh, live split file. Back over on the input section, we can actually hover over these splits to see their descriptions. Ventral spirit skill splits when obtaining ventral spirit. We can hover over some other properties as well to see their descriptions. Now, let's add our own splits. If I start typing, I can even type the word claw, and it'll show me that mantis claw is available. Now, you may have noticed I added this comma. Make sure that you have a comma after all but the last of these splits. Otherwise, you'll get red squiggles, kind of like a spell checker. If you hover over anything with squiggles, you'll not only see that description from before, but you'll see the error message expected comma. So if you see expected comma, re-add your comma. If one of the splits is wrong, you'll get yellow squiggles. You'll see value is not accepted, valid values, and then it just lists off all the auto splits. So now let's go ahead and click generate now that we added claw. And let's click download. So now this is the file. Our rename of Mothwing Cloak did not persist. Just take a note of that. We can do other things with the splits as well. If we want subsplits, we can use the ones that start with a hyphen. When you hover over this, it'll remind you that this is a subsplit. When you generate on this, the only difference is that the name given to the split is going to have a minus sign. Let's download that. Now this, is, this is useful for the subsplit component within, within your live split layout. Something else we can do is add manual splits. So let's say after claw, we want to manually split um, something good. In order to have a manual split, use a percent sign. When we generate the file, one difference. You'll, we still get the segment, but there's no associated auto split. So this, this is something that you'll have to split yourself during your runs. We can, we can also combine these. Let's say we have this as a ma manual subsplit. And then we go to Blue Lake. So now this is a manual subsplit. Then we go to Blue Lake. And notice again that there's no auto split between Mantis Claw and Blue Lake. Uh, for these other properties, you also get red squiggles if you do this wrong. If you try to put in Hollow Knight like this, it'll tell you 
that's wrong. You can only have Hollow Knight, Hollow Knight category extensions, and Hollow Knight mods. To take advantage of the autocomplete, start typing like this. You'll get similar feedback if you put in the wrong patch number. You'll also get similar feedback if you put in an invalid glitch rule set. If you use this to create splits for a full run of the game, make sure to set end triggering, end triggering auto split to false. What this will do is create a final segment with the category name that does not have an auto split. So this this would usually you you would probably rename this to Hollow Knight or Radiance or whatever. So that that's the gist. Uh, ping me on Discord if you have any questions or feedback. Thank you.